The Dark Flame event has begun in Pokemon Go, and there we go, Mega Sableye. Remote Raid invite, we may as well do it. I wasn't planning on starting this video this way, but you know what? The invites have come through, we've got to do them, uh, because we need that Mega Energy for Mega Sableye. Also during this event, there's quite a few wild spawns, none of which actually really need the shinies for, but certainly stuff to go out and hunt, stuff I haven't seen for a while, like the, the Houndour, the Vulpix, uh, what else is in there? Uh, Puchana. I've never actually experienced one of those wild shinies. So, certainly stuff to encounter. But of course, the big one is the Turtonator in the raids. And um, yeah, that is a nice shiny. Already on Twitter, I'm starting to see people that have actually got the shiny. So, hopefully, it won't be too difficult to come by. But you know what? We'll see. Knowing my luck, I still won't have it by the end of the event. But you know what? What will be will be and there we go it's almost down it's not taking long at all but we've got six in this battle so it definitely is not going to be a tough one to take down uh, we've done it in like under 100 seconds so it's definitely not going to be a difficult one to take down but there we go sableye or mega sableye i should say is down there we go revert to the normal one and let's have a quick look four golden raspberry one trust tm two revives two hyper potions two silver pineapps one sable eye candy xl and the big one on that one okay so oh 200 mega energy so that should be enough to evolve this bad boy not shiny 816 also not great just as i was about to put the camera away we get a turtonator raid come through thanks furby andrew for sending the invite kels langers there so there's three of us in this one again i don't think will be a difficult one to take down i think it is actually possibly soloable so uh, let's see what happens with this bad boy and there we go look at that turtonator great looking mon it is a absolutely great mon turtonator as arnold would say there we go look at that it's going down pretty easy of course this one fire and dragon so just take your dragons in that's just going to be the easiest way to take it down this one won't take long at all with the super effective damage of the dragons and there we go already down 140 seconds remaining that's going to be an easy one to do uh, potentially even solo that didn't take long or an awful lot of effort at all so you win two gold raspberry a charge cm two super potions for rare candy yeah and some other bits okay hardest hitter dealt a whopping 1048 damage okay so i didn't see the number that this one got to let's have a quick look uh, it's not shiny and 1227 i don't think that's very good uh i don't think we need to golden raspberry it's only a level three raid that should be okay any excellent throw on the first attempt at catching this bad boy is it going to be enough there we go first ball catch pineapp berry okay so new pokemon added to pokedex tour to nato is in the deck okay so okay so dark flames one of four explore two kilometers catch two fire dark type catch 10 different species all very easy let's get walking right okay so we've done our walking that should have yes it has sorted it out so claim our balls great balls ultra balls and our reward of three rare candy five raspberries woohoo and uh hmm, great reward okay so we need to choose a path let us go fire type i think okay so now we need to catch 25 type pokemon power up 10 fire type pokemon and take 25 snapshots of wild fire type pokemon well that one will be easy because we'll just get one and just take 25 photos of it but uh, very, very easy. Go Battle Day is this weekend. And of course, choosing the fire type path, it has unlocked the collection challenge fire type Pokemon. So Litten, Volpix we've already caught, Houndour, Nummel, Zigzagoom, and then some evolutions, which will give us 100 mega energy for Houndoom and 500, sorry, 5,000 XP. Okay, so we have done a few raids for Tur today. There's still no shinies. 925, that one definitely isn't shiny. There we go, excellent throw. That's what we're talking about. Next one. Next one is not shiny again, 918, not as good. And the last one, not shiny. Alrighty then, so stage two, Dark Flames is done. We'll claim our balls, we'll claim our pineapps, we'll claim an encounter with uh, Slugma, not shiny. And we'll claim our reward of oh, 50 more Pokeballs, 1500 XP and 
sorry, 2500 XP, 1500. Stardust, Purify 1, Fire Type, Shadow Pokemon, Power 10, Fire Type Pokemon, and Evolve 3, Fire Type Pokemon. They are sure wanting us to use Stardust. Right, so we need to power up a Pokemon 10 times. Let us have a quick look and see what we can't find. We must have something in there. Uh, let's go combat power and fire. Okay, so we've got that lucky shiny Cyndaquil. That one should be a bit cheaper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was a little bit less painful. We'll go with that. And that should allow us to claim our 10 Great Balls. An encounter gives us... Oh, Marowak. It's not shiny. It could have been. And the last encounter is another Sidaramak. It could have been shiny. It wasn't. Oh, bad throw. But we'll claim our premium battle pass. 2,000 dust. 5,000 XP, so now I need to catch another 20 fire type Pokemon, power up a Pokemon, a fire type Pokemon 10 more times and battle in three raids. Well, that's not going to be a problem because I still want that Turtonator. Right, so that should just about, yes, collection challenge is done. We'll claim our reward, Mega Energy, XP, that's done. We just need to do another raid now. Right, that should now do it. Yep, the last raid for this... The research has been done. We get an encounter with... Oh no, it's a Houndoom. Almost a Mega Houndoom. Excellent throw. And we will claim 50 Litten Candy, 2500 Stardust, and 7500 XP. So that is the special research done. But we still need more Turtonator because so far no shinies from this event. And that's the only thing I actually need. So we're going to keep going. So we finally got a shiny from this event. 11 CP. Vulpix, uh, Silver Pineapp, we'll just go normal ball, <laughs> hit the thing, waterfall, no, no, waterfall, hit the thing, oh, it bounced, oh, okay, bad throw, is it enough to catch it, it is, first shiny of the event, still no Turtonator, but we've got the Vulpix, and didn't need it, but it's one I've not seen for a while, so it's nice to get, okay, so one more, or two more, in fact, Checks for Turtonator Style Savant. Could this be the one that shines? No, 1583 though. And that 1583 is a 98%, so not quite the hundo, but we'll definitely take it nonetheless. And one more check from a task. Now, oh. another Turtonator down. The shiny is not forthcoming. Still not managed to get the shiny, but is this the time where we? get the shiny no in what is becoming a turtonator vlog i really didn't want to just solely focus on this shiny chase but um yeah we got a raid invite from masterful 27 few in there and uh could this be shiny number one for turtonator it most certainly cannot another one down another chance at the shiny Decent lobby there, actually. Nice to see 10 people in that one. Okay, so, is this one going to be the shiny? I'm saying this quite a lot at the moment, but historically, I do not tend to have good luck with these tier 3 single evolution shiny dragons. And it's still not shiny. But I did notice at the end of the last raid that we'd done our three raids for the complete three raid tasks, which also... Uh, gives us an encounter with Turtonator. So we've got three more checks, which we'll do in a second. It would be so nice to actually get it during its initial run in the game, and then I don't need to worry anymore. Uh, the last thing I really want to be doing is running around in the car doing all of these raids to do the encounters. So that one, not shiny. Second up... Could it be? No. And actually, from these research encounters, I actually don't know what is uh, a, a good one. So, 9-3, I think that's the best one we've got from that batch. So, three more non-shiny Turtinators. While we've got it, we're going to finish off the Dark Flames research, because that finishes soon. An encounter with a Houndoom. And finishing off with 50 Litten Candy, just what we wanted. 2500 Stardust and 7500 XP. 
and i think that is pretty much it it is so we're still striking out on the shiny turtinator but we got the sable eye mega energy it's only a hundred mega energy to evolve this so from the 200 we got from that first and only mega sable i read so far we may as well evolve this one we're going to evolve it's not the shiny but it is 98 the best one i've got we're going to mega evolve this bad boy now this will be of course dex entry mega sable eye there we go and that is another one and of course we've got mega rayquaza coming at go fest and later this month We've also got the Mega Tyranitar, so there's a lot of Megas coming and a lot of decent ones coming, but there we go. So we've got the Mega Sableye, 98% there. Thank you very much for watching. If you are a subscriber to the channel, I really do thank you. If you're not, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free and it really does help the channel to grow. And if you are supporting the channel via my Patreon, I really do appreciate that so much. It really does mean a lot. It means I can do a little bit more with the channel and it helps pay to get to events. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you, if not before, for Squirtle Community Day Classic. It's gonna be a good one. Portsmouth with the entire Incense podcast crew, courtesy of the University of Portsmouth. I'll see you in that one, if I don't see you before. Thanks for watching, Waterfall out.